All right, uh, greetings to everyone and uh, welcome to today's uh, discussion in uh, pediatrics with me, Sunday Singaranda. Yes, so in our discussion this evening, we are going through pneumonia. Yes, so pneumonia, that is the topic that we discuss on this evening. All right, so the stem of the question reads, an 18 months old baby is admitted to your ward with respiratory signs and symptoms. Following investigations, a diagnosis of pneumonia is made. Question A, it is saying define pneumonia. Okay, so by definition, I'm saying pneumonia, basically this is just uh, uh, a condition in which there is uh, inflammation of the lung tissue that is caused by bacterial, viral, or fungal infections. Yes, the main characteristics being chest pains, dyspnea, and also elevated body temperature. Yes, so that is the definition of pneumonia. Right, so in this definition, it is very important for us to, uh, to mention to say in pneumonia there is inflammation of the lung tissue. That is very, very vital. Yes, then the other important thing to mention in our definition, it is to mention the causative organisms, just like I mentioned, uh, bacterial infections, viral, and also fungal. Yes, so those are the main uh, culprits when it comes to the, to the cause of uh, uh, pneumonia. Yes, then uh, the other thing that we need to mention, we need to talk about the signs and symptoms that I just what, uh, mentioned. So it is very important that we mention all these things in our definitions for us to get all the required 5%. Yes. Then question A2, it is saying mention five investigations that should be conducted to make the diagnosis. Mention five investigations that should be conducted to make the diagnosis. So the number of uh, investigations that could be uh, conducted when it comes to pneumonia. First of all, we could start with uh, history taking. As we all know to say history taking to tell us about uh, some uh, predisposing factors of this condition such as uh, previous upper respiratory infections. Yes. In addition to that, we could also include physical examination. So physical examination, this one, it will, it will review some signs and symptoms of this condition. Yes. Then uh, other than those two, we could also talk about uh, sputum for microscopic culture and sensitivity. Yes. So find that once we collect a sputum for microscopic culture and sensitivity, this one it will review uh, the causative what, organism. Yes. Other than that, we could also... Uh, collect blood for full blood count. Yes, we can collect blood for uh, for complete blood count. Yes, so when, when once blood is collected, you find that uh, it will show an elevation in the number of uh, leukocytes. Yes, it, the, the number of uh, white blood cells will be elevated. Yes, then uh, in addition to that, we could also talk about what computerized tomographic scan. Yes, so we can do computerized tomographic scan as this will review some inflammatory uh, processes in the in the uh, in the lungs. Yes. In addition to that, we could also do uh, chest X-ray. Yes. So chest X-ray could also be done. As uh, so this will also show uh, the presence of what uh, pneumonia. Yes. So those are some of the the investigations that could be done in a patient with pneumonia. Yes. Moving to question B. Question B, it is saying state five signs and symptoms of pneumonia. State five signs and symptoms of pneumonia. The marks are located where? 10%. Yes. For the signs and symptoms of pneumonia, we could talk about uh, nasal flaring. Yes. So this nasal flaring, basically it occurs as a result of what? A poor ventilation. Yes. The, 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 the uh, air ventilation to the lungs, of what? it will be... Uh, impaired, it will be very poor as a result of the body nasal flaring. Yes, in addition to that, could also talk about what cyanosis. So, the patient with pneumonia usually gets cyanosed due to what reduced oxygen tissue perfusion, which is uh, hypoxia. Yes, then now uh, the third one that I could also mention, I could also talk about what chest pains. Yes, so chest pains, these ones they occur as a result of what the inflammatory processes that are taking place in the in the lungs. Yes. 
the fourth one that I could also mention, I could also talk about what Disney. Yes, so Disney, this, this basically occurs as a result of what uh, a secretion that occurs as a result of what the inflammatory processes that is taking place in the, in the lungs. So, as a result, you find that the patient will also have difficulties in breathing. Yes, the other one that I could also mention, I could also talk about uh, fever. Fever, this one, it occurs as a result of what the presence of uh, infections in the blood circulation. Yes. Finally, but not the least, we could also talk about headache and also some uh, a productive what, cough. Yes. So these are the uh, signs and symptoms that a patient with the pneumonia is likely to present with. Then question C, it was saying identify five nursing problems that the baby may have during hospitalization and using the nursing care plan, outline how you're going to manage them. All right. So for this question, I'll just list uh, some problems that the, this patient is likely to have. Yes. So one of the problems that I could mention, I could talk about what is altered breathing pattern. Yes. So there will be altered breathing pattern as a result of uh, the secretions in the uh, in the respiratory tract and also as due to the, what, the inflammatory processes that are taking place within the lungs. Yes. Chest pains, they also be there as a result of the same inflammatory processes. Yes. Then uh, we could also talk about what? Cough. Cough, this one it occurs as a result of uh, uh, irritations in the, in the air passages. Yes, irritations in the air passages, in the air passages may bring in what? Uh, cough. Yes. Fever may also be another problem. Fever, this one to occurs is out of what the inflammatory process and also the uh, the infections that are present in the what in the blood circulation. Yes. Finally, but not the least, we could also talk about what activity intolerance. Yes, we talk of activity intolerance. Yes. Then I could also include some uh, some of the risk factors such as what risk of what nutritional status. This one it occurs as a result of uh, this may occur as a result of uh, the patient's what loss of appetite. Yes, the patient may lose appetite due to the disease what, uh, process. Yes. So those were some of the, the problems that the baby is likely to have during what, hospitalization. Yes. Then the last question, it was saying, explain five points you would include in your information, education, communication to the family of the baby on discharge. Yes. So on the... Uh, on the IEC, we could talk about what uh, drug adherence. So, so it is very important that uh, we inform the family on uh, ensuring that uh, those antibodies that are given in other medications are given on time, as these will help in the prevention of what uh, drug resistance. Yes. Then we could also talk about uh, uh, maintaining a home, a home what uh, uh, environment. So it is very important if, if uh, when uh, the, this child is. Uh, is home to ensure that the environment in which uh, the child is in it is uh, a home due to the fact that uh, a cold it is also one of the predisposing factors to one acquiring what pneumonia yes other than that could also talk about what we could also talk about uh, we could also mention uh, uh, some review dates so it is very important that uh, uh, the, 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 the the patient is uh, taken for reviews uh, it is very important the patient is taking what for reviews to assess as to whether the the the, 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 the healing process is taking place or not. That is very very important as well. Yes.